Okay. Welcome back, everyone. All right. Let's start on this course where we are looking at leadership. Just set the slides. Okay. Effective leadership. Right, so, so in terms of, of this module, um, we've touched a bit on, on, on the, the objectives, what we need to have uh, understood or learned from this module. Um, we, we need to, to, to have been able to, to identify, compare and contrast leadership models, as I've indicated before. So there are different modules that talk to how we lead. So we need to know what, which, which ones there are, which one works best for us, and how different are they. We also need to be able to anal analyze the relationship between power and leadership and how we can then influence others. So under here, we're going to touch on what is power, what are power dynamics, uh, how does power shift, and how does power affect how we lead and influence, right? So we also need to be able to appreciate the role that ethics and values play in leadership. So we will talk to what ethics is and values and how this affects how we lead others. We'll also talk, we'll also touch base on, on how to become credible leaders and business stewards. And then we'll also identify the importance of um, followership and diversity for leader outcomes. So what is diversity and how does it affect how we lead others? Um, lastly, uh, participants should be able to develop a leadership development plan. So you should now know where you stand currently in terms of how you lead others and where you need to be, which leadership style will suit what you need to do and then develop a plan of how to get from where you are to where you need to be. Yeah. So in terms of, of, of the modules that we will look at, right, uh, we will look at module one, which will just be the introduction to leadership. What is leadership all about? Um, then we'll then look at the different leadership styles that exist. Uh, from there, you can, you can then introspect and see which style suits what you need to do or which style of leader you are, and if that works for your business. Then we'll then touch on module three, which will look at power and leadership, and the relationship between power and leadership, and how you can use power to lead uh, effectively or not effectively. Right? Then module four, will touch on emotional intelligence. Uh, what is emotional intelligence, and how can we use it uh, to lead others. Um, and then module five is going to touch uh, a bit on, on ethics, introspection, uh, what you believe in, and how you can get others to follow your line of belief, influencing others. And then we'll look at module six, which will talk to honesty, integrity, and ethics. What, how these aspects influence how we lead and what they are. And then we'll then touch base on module seven, which is self-awareness, uh, introspection, and how knowing self affects how you lead. And then module eight, we'll talk of knowledge, wisdom, and intelligence, and how this can be applied as you lead others. We'll then look at module nine, uh, diversity in leadership. What is diversity? How do you lead different people? Uh, can the same leadership style be applied to different people? So that's what we'll talk about there. Then we'll then close off the course uh, on module 10, which talks to stewardship. So we will touch on what is stewardship and how, why and how is it important in leadership. So those are the areas that we will look at um, during the course of this training. Right. Okay. Let's get into it, the introduction to leadership. Right. So some of the aspects that we will touch on under here, we're gonna define 
leadership and, and it's important. Then we're gonna understand the relationship. We touch on the relationship between power and leadership and how we can use this to influence others, right? We'll then continue to touch on credible leaders and business steward, right? And then talk a bit on ethics and, and values in relation to your leadership aspirations. Right, so, so leadership. This is a word that's, that's loosely used. You know, we've heard, you know, among friends, people refer to each other as leadership. Politicians refer to each other as leadership. Um, you know, it's, it's a term that people throw around. So in your individual capacities, can you just jot down what you understand by leadership? You know, what it means for you, right? So we're just trying to understand how ordinary people confer leadership. This is one of the most recognizable words, a leader. You know, immediately when you hear leader, what comes to mind for you, right? Leadership is all about leading others, right? So be it you're a farm owner, you're a farm manager, uh, you, can, you, can, you can be uh, referred to as a leader or even an ordinary person, by mere virtue of them knowing certain things more than others, or just the ability to influence others can be referred to as leader. So just remember, leadership varies right, because of our different life experiences, right? So we'll touch now on how leadership and power are related and what power is about and how it influences leader, right? So we start off by just defining power as the authority by organizations and leaders to get things done, right? Key things, authority to get things done, right? So power is the medium that enables you to get things done, right? There's two things, is it Positive or negative? Do you use power positively to get things done or use power negatively to get things done? Right? Positively could be you have authority and people like how you operate. They aspire to be you. They are influenced to follow your actions by just the virtue of the charisma of you as a leader. Right? That's the positive use of power. Negative use, you use power to instill fear to get things done. So people by virtue of the, the fear they have of the power you have, they will do the things you need them to do. Yeah. So think about that power dynamic. Do you use power negatively or positively in your organization, in your business, right? So power is used every day by organizations and leaders to get things done, right? Is power always used for the good or ethical or unethical things? Again, that's what we mean. Do you use power positively or negatively? Do you use it ethically or unethically? Do you use it to actually get things done because people are afraid or because people want or are motivated to do things for you, right? So power can be used differently, right? As farmers, how can our leadership skills have positive influence on the power of our employees? So think about your own farming operation or your own agro-business, right? Think about your workers and think about you as the leader. Right? Do you use power positively to influence them? Or do you use it negatively for them to fear you and then they will comply to what you need them to do, right? bearing in mind that power is not owned, but it's exercised. So you may have power today, but that power can be relinquished by virtue of you losing your, your positions or the negative effects of using power negatively, where people may say, you know, we've had enough of this, right? So just remember, power is not owned by exercise. Use it wisely to influence positively uh, the effectiveness of how you lead others right let's move to power and influence again we've said power is the ability to get things done right 
its ability to influence the behavior of others. Right? So that ability to get things done is based on the influence. Right? So here we further say with or without resistance. Right? So it's push or prompt. So depending on how you use power, right, there could be resistance to get things done or the people will be able to, to, will happily be able to get things done for you. So you must always know the negative and the positive influence of power. All this is driven by how you use power, right? You can either influence the people to achieve the goal, or it can have negative effects where they decide they do not want to actually do it. Right? So just take a moment to think about how in your organization you use power to influence. Is it, is it working? Is it positive? Um, or at some point it will go south. So just think about that. For those that have been using it negatively, consider the use of power positively to still get things done um, without the risk of resistance. Right. right. So this power that we talk of, what is the source of this power? You know, well, what enables somebody to have power? Right. So power can be legitimate power or positional power. This is power that's conferred to an individual by virtue of their role and status within the organization. So what we mean here 